all think we're going to move from this form factor to something that's on your face glasses and compute when computing's all on the edge. All right. 50 seconds. Who wants to answer quickly? I think it will go. It, it will. First of all, it will definitely happen. I, 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 I was talking about 6G earlier, which is around 20, 2030. I would say that by then, definitely the smartphone as we know it today will not anymore be, be the usual kind of the most common interface. Wow. This, this, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. I just left the room where we had the negotiations about the digital identity and I have bad news. The member states and the European Parliament came to an agreement. It means that probably not far from now, the digital identity will be uh, a fact in the European Union. Right. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Achach Wadash, the honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believer, Shalom to you. I'm not going to get into scriptures, just showing you this video, but actually I want to say something because reading this title, it said, digital prison with slave coin full steam ahead in the EU while everyone is talking about the latest war. The latest war is very important because the latest war is going to cause everything to fall in place. World War Three, you know, it have to be going on. It have to be going on at the same time. The mark of the beast is being talked about. So that's why I pause this video, because these Edomites don't know anything. And whoever posts this video, obviously not a prophet. The latest war, which is the last war, is very, very important. So you already know the scriptures. Revelation 13, 16 through 18. All right. And this new system that they're trying to bring forth. All of this is nothing but, you know, the um the pitch is transhumanism, which means to upgrade you. But we all know what it really entails. And that's control and having every aspect of your life control. And you ain't going to be able to buy and sell without these, this device inside you. So when this video end, I'm going to end the video. Shalom to whoever watched this. After this agreement, Commissioner Breton said, now we have the digital identity wallet, we have to put something in it. And what he meant was... Oh, remember, mark of the beast. The beast is the European Union. All right? NATO and Canada, remember it said, the great whore, that right of the beast. So the great whore, the mother of harlots, the abominations of the earth, that's America. But the beast, that's the European Union. So it's the mark, as this man is talking from London, all right, the digital euro, remember, it's the mark of the beast, all right, which is going to be worldwide. But it's starting off in Europe, as you see. The digital euro, also known as the central bank digital currency, and this is a very bad development. They always promise us not to make this connection. And even uh, a lot of experts, uh, privacy experts and security experts, warned also last week this is uh, a, a, a very uh, bad idea for our privacy and our freedom. And still, this digital identity is pushed through. But it's not too late because we still have to vote on this in the plenary. So what you can do, send your MEP from your member state an email. And you see how this damn devil talk about it, how you can vote on it and vote against it. No, the fuck you can't. You want to know why? Because it's Bible prophecy. All right. You're not going to stop the Lord's will. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. So, hey, man, we're getting closer and closer. They're talking about it more and more. All you Hebrew Israelite false prophet, prophets out there who don't want to speak on it, want to call it everything but what it really is, you got a lot of blood on your hands. So repent. And for the ones who know, hey, let's stay prayed up. Shalom.